Today is Thursday, June 15, 2023. I received this word from the Lord at 3.24 p.m. today. Um, this brought conviction uh, to my own heart. Um, as always, I don't expect you to take my word for it. Go ahead and test the spirits. Take it back to the Lord in prayer. Um, meditate on your word and he will speak to you there as well. This is what the Lord said. Children of the Almighty God, hear the word of the Lord. Turn your eyes away from worthless things. Pay attention to how you are spending your time. This is not the time for distractions. You must press in. You must come to me with weeping, fasting, and mourning. Many of you are ill-equipped for the things that are coming. Your intercession is needed. Where are all my watchmen? Why have you left your posts at, at such a crucial time when you should be sharing my burden? Are you not grieved by the suffering of my people? Lament. Tear at your garments in agony for the suffering of my people is great. Spiritual warfare has intensified. Anyone who is not secure in their salvation or wearing their armor daily is susceptible to a vicious attack. Guard your hearts with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. Do not cast your pearls to swine. Be silent. You've already said too much. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Be sparing with your words. Learn discernment. Pray, and I will show you the spirit behind the ones you are confiding in. Not everyone who claims to be for me is really mine. There are many wolves in sheep's clothes monitoring your every move. Learn the difference between your testimony and gossip. Be cautious with your words. Pay attention to what you are declaring. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Be mindful of the words you speak. Many of you are unknowingly speaking death, sickness, and a faint spirit over your life. Repent of your words that were spoken in haste, self-righteous judgment, and error. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Whom shall I send? Who will go? Who loves not their life to the death? I sacrificed it all for you. What are you willing to let go of for my namesake? Anything you place above me, you have made an idol. I am a jealous God. You shall put no other gods before me. I will not share my temple with idols. If your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. Better to advance to the kingdom of heaven with one eye than to be cast into hell with two. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Better to enter heaven's gates maimed than to have two hands in hell. This is how serious you must approach your sin. Turn your eyes away from worthless things and remember them no more. Flee from sexual immorality. Flee from the adulterous woman. Don't go anywhere near her house. Nothing escapes my sight. Nothing is concealed from me. Many of you are living in secret sin, but my grace was to break the power sin has over you. I did not come to abolish the law, but to uphold it. You are empowered by my spirit, says the Lord, to overcome the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Apart from me, your works are useless. Apart from me, you cannot bear any fruit at all. You are to bear fruit worthy of repentance. You cannot drink from the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot sit at my table and the table of demons. Choose whom this day you shall serve, me or the world.